Hello everybody, this is Carmen Killed the Cat, and welcome to your 23rd Lua tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be starting the C library, and as you can see, we're not in our sublime text as we usually are. We're in Google Chrome, because the first thing we have to do is we have to install our new IDE for running C code. So, most of you probably haven't been following our, my C++ tutorials. I haven't posted one in ages. I should get on that. So, I'm going to teach you how to install Visual Studio. So, first step, just look up Visual Studio 2013. You'll have to type out the whole thing. I've just looked it up a few times. And then you want to go down to the option that says Download Microsoft Visual Studio Express. Make sure it says Express. Ultimate costs like $1,000. So make sure it says Express. Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows. And it'll take you to a Microsoft download page. Just make sure this is in whatever language, probably English and hit download and you want this one I believe I'm not sure what the other one does so you'll download this and then it'll take you to the installer and for me this says repair or uninstall for you it'll say install it's saying repair or uninstall because I already have Visual Studio but just follow the installation instructions I'm sure you can figure those out and in the next part, we will be in Visual Studio. So once Visual Studio is done installing, just open it and you should be here. So uh, for those of you who haven't used Visual Studio, we have the Start menu, where we have New Project, Open Project, uh, it's where you create projects. Then you have Recents, where you can quickly get to your the last uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven projects you've opened instead of having to look through them in open project and then solution explorer we'll get to that when we actually open a project and then this is just uh, our toolbars again uh, pretty useless until we open a project and then everything in the middle down here is just with Microsoft advertising so we don't need that so click new project it's top option in case uh, you can't see because uh, I have my recording software recording the whole screen because we need it. And then you'll get this window open and it should be on Visual C++ by default. I forget if it is. But if it's not, it'll look like this. And then you just click the arrow by Visual C++ and then click on Win32. Click Win32 console application. And then there's the box for the project name. We'll just name this Lua C tutorial you can name it whatever you want and then you can pick the location for the project uh, you know what I'll just look for a file so I can keep things organized I'll put it right here and then the solution name just leave that as the same as the project name then you'll get this box or window I don't know why I said box so you'll have a few uh, uh, bubbles and check boxes to check. Keep this a console application for now. Uh, in future C++ tutorials, I'll get to other things. But in the bottom section, you want to click Empty Project. Because otherwise, you'll have a bunch of annoying pre-made code that is completely useless to us. Then just hit Finish. And after loading you'll get a blank page and then you want to right click source files which is the bottom option over here and then hover over add hit new item and then you'll have two options here you'll either have C++ file .cpp or header file .h click the top one the cpp file and you can just leave the name as source .cpp we'll only be using one file for now so now that we've created our file, there's one more thing we have to do before we can start using the Lua C API. You have to go to the Project tab in your toolbar, and then at the very bottom you'll see something with a little wrench next to it, and it'll say whatever your file name is and then Properties, or you can just hit Alt F7. So clicking that will open this window, and then in this box here, hopefully you can see this, the bottom option is Configuration Properties. So what we have to do here is we have to tell Visual Studio that we want to use Lua in our program. So when you hit uh, the arrow next to configuration properties to make all the options drop down, 
you'll see one option called VC++ directories. And this is, actually, no, we don't need that. This is where we can uh, add include files. So we can, so when you include a file in C or C++, I'm assuming you know basic C and C++, uh, Visual Studio has a certain certain number of files that it will look through. It'll look through the default file and then any files that you specify here. So you want to go to include directories and then you'll have a drop down and hit edit. So the only difference that you should have is that you won't have these two things. These are for DirectX. I just there's another method to do this so that it's permanent and you don't have to do it per project. But uh I'll do a tutorial on that later. For now we'll just do the per project way. So you shouldn't see these two options, but other than that it should look exactly the same. So you want to hit this little folder and then you want to hit the three dots here. And now just find wherever you install Lua and then see my file is named 5.1 and then you want to go to the file that says include double click it and then hit select folder. Then hit OK hit apply. Then there's another option called library directories and we do the same thing. So again these won't be here for you but just hit the folder, hit the three dots, go to wherever you installed Lua, and this time, instead of going into the include file, go into the lib file, and then hit select folder, and OK, and apply. So now there's just one last thing to do. You have to go down to linker, and then there's an option called input. Click that and go to additional dependencies and hit edit and you won't have any of this any of the things that say D3D again that's for DirectX but in this little window you'll have a box to type in type in Lua 5.1.lib and if you have Lua 5.2 it's Lua 5.2.lib the new line Lua 51.lib and hit OK and apply and then hit OK here and now to test if this works we will include lua.h so now if we create a main function and return again I'm assuming you know C or C++ so I'm not going to teach you either of those languages here we it succeeds so we have our lua.h file and now let's get to writing some lua code so in this tutorial we're just going to be doing the most simple thing we can do with the c library and that is just to run a lua file so i've created one here just prints hello from lua and you have to save it in your project file for visual studio so go to wherever you saved it i saved it in here and then the file name is just the name of the project click on it and then click on the file that is the name of the project that just says file folder not SQL server just click on it and then save your Lua file here it will be with the uh, C++ file that you uh, that you created in Visual Studio so save the Lua file there and then just make it print something and now let's move on to writing code in C++. So because the Lua library is meant for C, not C++, we need to use the extern command and just say extern C and then we include all our Lua files here. So again we just include Lua.h uh, we include Lua, Lua lib.h, and then we include Lua auxiliary lib.h, which is spelled lib.h. But that just stands for our Lua auxiliary lib. And then this should compile. It does. So now let's start writing our code. So the first thing we need to do is create a Lua state, and that is an object that holds the stack of variables and objects that can be communicated from Lua to C and vice versa. So 
say Lua states, or is it right here? Lua state, and then needs to be a pointer, so star L. And then to initialize it, we just call Lua capital L underscore new state. And it's a function with no parameters. And the reason there's an L here is that it's being called from one of these libraries. So if it's the uh, part before the underscore is Lua, then it's from Lua.h, and if it's Lua capital L, then it's from one of these libraries. So just pay attention to that. And then the next thing we need to do, since this is a, it's an object and it's also a pointer, we need to get rid of it because this is C, not Lua. So we need to manually delete our memory. So we call Lua underscore close. And again, no parameters. So now, oh, and we need to pass the Lua state in so it knows which Lua state is closing because you can't have multiple. So now within uh, the creation of the Lua state and Lua underscore close, we can do whatever we want with Lua. So the first thing we're going to do is we're, gonna, we're going to open these two libraries. So we say Lua L underscore open libs and we just pass an L. And now we can call our file. So we say Lua L underscore do file and we just pass an L and a string that is the file name so it is test dot Lua don't forget the dot Lua part and then semicolon so you probably remember the do file function from Lua just executes another Lua file and we can also call it from C and it does the same thing executes a Lua file so hit F7 to build it and then hit control F5 to run it without debugging and we get hello from Lua and we call that we called the print function which was in our Lua file from C so that is the most basic thing that you can do with the Lua C library and that is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll start working with variables in the C library and Hate to say, hate to say it, but that this is where it gets confusing. The variable system, because it works a lot like the error and debug library level system. So, uh, if you're used to that system, then it shouldn't be too bad. But if you don't like that system, then it will be a challenge. But we'll worry about that that next week. So, see you in the next tutorial.